all because of three viruses. It's a viral horse race with three familiar names, all a sure bet to make an impact. Some people have kind of called it a potential uh, trifecta as far as with the COVID, the flu, and the RSV. Dr. Robert Frank is an infectious disease expert and researcher with Cincinnati Children's Hospital. He says in the past few days, 20% of the kids' children tested for the flu alone were positive. So to give you an idea, uh, when you get more than 5% of your test positive, that's high. So 20% is really high. So that means there's a lot of flu in the area right now. Across Ohio, the positivity rate for RSV is 23% and COVID is 8%. Some patients are reporting emergency room waits that take all day. So the effect is that our hospitals are getting hit pretty hard with all three diseases right now. So, and we know that all three diseases are moving on an upward trajectory. Tiffany Mattingly is with the Health Collaborative. She says there are still a lot of unknowns. I think the question is what is going to be the magnitude of each one of those? How sick are people going to get and how is that going to affect the hospital operations? Doctors and hospitals are recommending vaccines for the flu and COVID. There is no vaccine for RSV, but four studies at Children's are researching it and that could get approval as early as next year. As we all jockey our way through a trifection infection. And now here's something you might not know. Uh, Children's Hospital has a list of their urgent care facilities, emergency rooms on their website. If you go to that, they have a little uh, tab underneath of those and it says save my spot. If you click on that, it's almost like making an appointment. It's supposed to save you some wait time. They tell you basically what time to show up. We have a link to that on our website at WLWT.com. Reporting live, Brian Hemrick, WLWT News 5. Oh, Brian, thanks for the warning there. Emergency room.